If you are watching this video, you probably just got this unbound local error message in Python. But why does it happen and how can you fix it? Let me show you. I create variable x. I print x and the output is 1. No surprises here. But now I put the code to print x in a function. You might do this so the function can serve as a button click handler. So I call the function and execute the code. And that still works. But why does it work? Why is it possible that the function accesses a variable that is declared outside of the function? Well, this is defined in Python's scoping rules. x is first searched in the scope of the function. And since x was not declared in the function, Python moves on and searches in the enclosing scope, which happens to be the main script. And there it found the variable. Actually, it just found a name and if you want to know more about how variables in Python work, click this link here. For now, it is only important to know that if a variable cannot be found in the current scope, Python will continue to look for them in the enclosing scopes. And that is why this code works. By the way, that does not mean that this is good code and I'll explain later why that is. But first, I'll show you the error why you are here in the first place. Since I can access x in the function, I increment it by 1. And boom, there is your error. But how can this be when I was able to print x? Well, try to understand what poor Python tries to do here. When an assignment is made in a function, by default, the variable will be a local variable. So x will exist in the function scope. There will be an x outside of the function and an x inside of the function. And although they have the same name, they will point to different objects. So by the time that Python accesses x to increment it, it first searches in the local scope, but the creation of local x is not done yet. Python needs local x to create local x. This can't work. So, what is the result? An error occurs. Now, there are two solutions to this problem. A good one and a not so good one. Let me start by showing you the not so good one. You might like this one because it solves your problem with a single line of code. I told you that an assignment in a function creates a variable in the function scope. But the goal here is to increment the existing variable x. And if that is your intention, add this line to your code. This tells Python not to create a local variable, but instead use x from the global scope. Look at the output. The code works, but there is a problem with this code. You probably agree with me that functions are a unit of code and should never try to reference things outside of the function. So how can you prevent this? A function should get its dependencies as inputs and return its outputs. In the case of my example, it looks like this. I get rid of global. I add parameter i to the function. I increment i instead of x, and instead of printing x, I return i. I call test and pass x, and I print the result. Look at the output. The function is now a black box with inputs and outputs, and it does not need access to anything outside of the function. One of the benefits is that you can move the function to other modules without making any changes to the function. And this is actually the key to decoupling your code. And if you want to learn how that works in Python, click on the screen right now and we'll see each other in the next video.